Hi friends, I am Dr. M. H. Arnaya and today I am going to have the first session on projection of pyramids. Today I am going to teach you how to draw the projections of a triangular pyramid. I think in the previous session you must have seen that I have explained the projection of a square pyramid. And today I am going to tell you about the projection of a triangular pyramid. By definition, a triangular pyramid is a solid having a triangular base A, B, C with a center O1 and a vortex. The vortex is connected to the three corners A, B and C by three slant edges you can see. So a triangular pyramid has got three triangular faces and all these triangular faces on the lateral surface are isosceles triangles. Now, before that, let me tell you the nomenclature. The three triangular faces are OAB, OBC, OCA. Three triangular faces. There will be three corners A, B, and C. The problem for today's session runs like this. Question number one A triangular pyramid. A triangular pyramid of side of base, side of base 30 mm and axis 50 mm long. Rest on HP on one of its slant edges one of its slant edges which is such that slant edges such that the plane containing containing The slantage and the axis is inclined at thirty degrees to VP. Draw its projections. Drives projections. Hence, this is a triangular pyramid that is considered for today's projection. The triangular pyramid has got the side of the base is 30, that means AB, BC, CA, all are having equal measurement of 30 mm, and the height of the solid, the height is measured from the center of the base O1 to the vertex O. This height is given as 50 mm. It has to rest on HP on one of its slant edges. So I told you there are three slant edges OA, OB and OC. And in the previous session I had informed you that whenever the pyramid has to rest on one of these slant edges one of the corners of the base of the solid to, to come to towards the right side of the observer. So let me keep the pyramid on HP such that one of the corners B of the solid is to the right side of the observer. Get the front and top view. So I am going to draw the XY line. Mark the top view. That is, when you keep the object like this and get the top view, top view is going to be a triangle of side 30 mm and the height is to be the, the front view that is given in the question. So I am going to write the top view a triangle, is an equilateral triangle, it has got the dimension 30 millimeter each. 
so 30 millimeter on each side and I will just represent it as A, B, C. So A, B, C are the three corners of the solid. Now we have to locate the centroid of the object. How to get it? It is very simple. Bisect any two adjacent sides of the solid. So I am going to bisect this side AB, bisect the side BC and these two bisectors meet at a common point which I call it as O1, the base, join that to all the corners that is O to A, O to B and O to C. So this is the top view of the pyramid when it is resting on its base and head And in general I told you whenever any of these solid prism, pyramid, cylinder or cone when they rest on HP the axis of the solid is always perpendicular to HP. Now I know the center. I mark the center as O comma O1 where O represents the vertex of the solid and from O I just draw a vertical line and mark the height of the solid. The height of the solid is given to be 50 mm. 50. So mark the dimension 50 mm and this is O dash and the bottom center is O1. Now I have to join the vertex O dash to all the corners. So these two lie in the same line. This is A comma B and I am going to join A dash B dash to this A. Similarly this to C. So this is the front view of the solid and this is marked as C dash. So we have the front view of the solid, a triangle and the line on the right extreme end that is O dash C dash represents one of the slant edge of the solid. So I just mark it as slant edge, slant edge. This is O dash C dash. So now he says in the question, this is resting on HP on one of its slant edges. Friends, you can see that O dash C dash representing this slant edge is inclined to HP. But it has to be on HP. So what that we do? We are going to redraw this figure such that the line O dash C dash rests on HP. So how to construct this? I will tell you. Yes, see, redraw that figure such that so here, this point is A dash, B dash. This point is uh, C dash, O dash. This is C, um, O dash. This point is, um, this is C dash. So what that we have observed now? Mark the axis and all that. Now, the object which are resting on its base is rotated through an angle such that the line O dash, A dash representing the slant edge is on HP. I have write down here slant edge slant edge on HP on HP and now we should get the corresponding top view. Before that I will show you so you had a corner like like this and the object is rotated like that. Now you can see that the object is resting on the slant edge such that two of the adjacent triangular faces are equally inclined to HP. That means this triangular face and this triangular face are equally inclined to HP. Let me get the top view. When you look from here, I told you, uh, the, whenever any of these pyramids rest on HP, either on one of these slant edges or one of the triangular faces, the complete base of the solid is visible in the top view. So, I am going to mark all these corners. So, just to avoid confusion, let us start from point A or the corner A. Get the points one by one. So, I am going to draw a vertical line from A dash, horizontal line from A dash. The point of intersection of these two will give you A. Likewise, vertical line from B dash, horizontal line from B dash, B, a point where those two energy A, B. Similarly, what time the corner C, vertical C, horizontal line from C. So you have got A, B, C, the base of the solid and I told you it is completely visible. Hence I am going to draw this 
by the arc lines or so called visible line so this triangle abc represents top view of the solid when it is resting on one of these slant edges now you have the vertex move draw a vertical line from move a horizontal line from here this will be your point o the base corners are abc the vertex is o now we have to join the vertex to all the corners so i will join o to a o to b and then i have to join o to c friends you see here whenever it is resting on one of these slant edges that slant edge is not visible to the observer in the top view hence the slant edge on which it is resting has to be shown by a dotted line so i am going to show like this a dotted line from c to o now we can find friends that the axis of the solid o o one this is your o one dash this is your the axis of the solid is o one that axis o one are the slant edge o c because they coincide they rest one above the other this is the slant edge we say slant edge o c is now parallel to bp in the question it says draw the projection of the pyramid when the plane containing the slant edge and the axis are of the solid are inclined at 30 degrees to bp friend this you have to understand clearly the object is resting on the slant edge oc and o is the axis the plane by depression is a surface which has got minimum three points on it here in the print you can observe o dash o dash is the axis of the solid o dash c dash is the slant edge on which it is resting the plane containing by this is this triangle this triangle o dash o dash c dash has become a line here you can see o o1 and c that is to say the plane containing the axis on the slant edge on which it rests is now parallel to bp so finally in the third position we have to redraw this solid such that the plane represented by o o1 c is inclined at an angle of how much it is given at 30 degrees to bp so i just draw a line here i draw a line here at the given inclination to bp that is 30 degrees as specified in the problem and i am going to redraw this figure redraw this figure on this line which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to bp so what is the procedure the procedure is very simple mark first of all o anywhere on that line say this is o then take this measurement o to ab what are the measurement you have got o to ab draw a vertical line here friends this is a and this is b so i can call this as a or this as b and even if interchange also there is nothing wrong so finally from this ab take the measurement that is this distance and get that point as c the point is c so the figure number here and this figure they are the same so i am going to join o to a o to b and then a to c b to c and here this line has to be a dotted line you have this o1 as usual so this i am going to show by a dotted line dotted line represent that slant edge friends remember in the last session on the pyramids i had explained to you that figure number 1 the initial position figure number 1 and figure number 2 they are always identical irrespective of the solid whether it is a pyramid or a prism or a cone similarly this figure figure number 3 and figure number 4 they are also just in the third position i have drawn the pyramid resting at an angle of 30 degrees here now i should get the final front view follow the simple procedure get the corners of the solid one by one so to get a dash in the print view 
I draw a vertical line from A, a horizontal line from A dash. This point is over A dash. Similarly, B, to obtain B, horizontal line from, from B, vertical line from B, this point is going to be B dash. So, I have got A dash, B dash. Next, the same lines, C, vertical from C, horizontal from C, this point is C dash. Finally, we have this, the vortex O, horizontal from here, vertical line from here, they meet at this point and I call this point as O dash. Hence, we have got all the three points and the other point left over is our axis of the solid. Horizontal from O1 dash, vertical from O1, they meet somewhere here. Say this is the axis of this O1 dash. Now, we have got the three corners of the solid, three slant edges, the center of the base and the vortex. Now, I have to join all these by straight line. How to join? Friends, I told you before, whenever the base of the solid is nearer to the observer, the complete base of the solid is visible in the plane view. So, the base is what? A dash, B dash, C dash. So, I am going to write join A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, A dash to C dash. This is the base of the solid. So, this base is to be connected the base corners to the vortex. So I am going to join O dash to B dash, one slanted, O dash to C dash, the other slanted. Finally, I should join O dash to A dash. Why joining O dash to A dash? It is very clear. This line O dash A dash intersects A dash B dash. So, as a rule, whenever two lines intersect, if one of them is already a visible line, a full line, the other has to be a dotted line. So this is already a full line. So I have to join this by a dotted line like this. So this is the final print view. I show it as FP and this is the top view of this solid. Friends, we can observe here a very important point that the object is resting on O dash C dash. O dash C dash is one of the slant edges of the solid. And the two triangular faces, namely O dash C dash B dash and O dash C dash A dash, they make equal inclination with the HP. So I will say call this angle as alpha. These two angles, if you draw to scale, they will be same. And this is the complete solution for the problem.